morning, everyone. This is David with Bolivar Live. Well, uh, we were coming in this morning. You know, uh, the storm out in the Gulf has been upgraded to a tropical storm. And uh, I didn't notice it earlier this morning, but I guess when the 4 o'clock report came out, um, it was upgraded to Tropical Storm Herald. And right now it's holding about 45 mile an hour winds. It's going to make landfall down in South Texas, uh, the Texas-Mexico border. But we're, we're getting some tides here with the wind and the storm. Uh, there you can see, I'm going to back up a little bit so that you can see that right at the bottom, right above the banner is actually foam. Oh, my phone fell. Uh, is actually foam. Let me get adjusted here again. Uh, there we go. Um, it's actually foam, but we're getting an elevated tide from it. And so I went down, as soon as I, I pulled down uh, one of the roads, I think it was Kayla or something, and went and checked the tide, noticed it was elevated. And so I did go down and check Highway 87. I've been all the way to High Island. There's no problem down there. There was one little area that had some splash on it, but I ran 55, 65 uh, all the way down checking it. And so Highway 87 is okay. I went on the Bay side. Uh, actually, I went down Stingery Road to Stingery Restaurant, and it didn't have water up in the parking lot. And so the Bay side right now is okay. Um, I don't know where high tide is supposed to be, but on my phone, uh, it said 705. And so we're probably going to see, and that's probably about right for the beachfront. Um, but as this storm goes in and the wind starts to die down, uh, we'll see tides drop. But the good part is, uh, this is helping our beach. Um, as far as packing it down, you know, we've got Labor Day weekend coming up and I was worried about soft sand because we haven't had any rain and we still haven't had any rain. It looked like Galveston was going to get a little bit this morning. I saw a storm pop up right at the north, uh, south jetties there and saw some lightning. We may get a sprinkle a little bit later on uh, today. But nothing, I don't think, that's going to really help us with our drought situation. But um, I can tell you, if you're wanting to go to the beach and pick up shells this morning, drink coffee and watch the sunrise, you're going to have to do it from our sunrise beach cam. Uh, because, and they're probably dirty as of right now because of the wind we've had and the salt in the air. I know just driving down to High Island, I was steadily using my windshield washers because the mist that was in the air. So anyway, just wanted to give you an update. Um, you know, that storm came across and as of, you know, the end of last week, they were showing it all to go in in South Texas and we were hoping we'd get some rain from it, but it doesn't look like uh, we're actually going to get anything and I apologize. The big store, Gulf Coast Market, is sponsoring this Bolivar Live Feed. Keith, the crew up there, uh, thank you for everything you do. Typically, we do their uh, ad. In fact, we've got it ready to play, and we'll play it later on tonight. Um, but remember uh, that the big store's ad does start at 7 a.m. this morning. You can go by, get you some coffee, get you some breakfast and shop the big store ad. It starts every Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. when they open and then runs through Wednesday afternoon and you can always find it online uh, at www.thebigstore.us. Look under specials and we have the weekly ad up there. Uh, put it up typically Monday about 2.30 or 3. Um, used to go up a little bit later but We've changed the hours uh, for Rachel at uh, the Tourism Center, and we're open now from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, she comes in early and works on videos for us and then takes care of the front there. And want to thank her for everything she does. But anyway, you can see the tides wash, still washing up. And so 
We'll keep an eye on everything down here. We're going to keep an eye on 87, uh, but I really don't think it's going to be a problem uh, with any debris or anything, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. Like I said, it showed just an app I pulled up real quick. Fort Bolivar at uh, high tide was at 7 a.m. Excuse me, 7 a.m. 705 actually, and so I don't think we're going to have a problem. Other than our beach should be packed if we can get this tide back down and let it dry out for a day, let the water levels go back down. We'll have a nice beach where you can drive anywhere on. And I always like it when we get an elevated tide because the beach just looks pristine. And so, and the beach has been in great shape. So. Anyway, remember Labor Day weekend's coming up. Uh, we look forward to seeing everyone down here. We're going to have a surfboard giveaway, secret phrase giveaway on Saturday. And we're looking forward to that. We're also going to, uh, during the uh, Christmas break, we're going to have a Santa Claus hunt for Bolivar between Christmas and New Year's. Uh, we're working on that. Barbara's working on that. And so we're excited about it and can't wait uh, for another secret phrase giveaway uh, for uh, Labor Day weekend and then the hunt for Bolivar Thanksgiving, I mean, uh, between Christmas and New Year's. And you never know what we may, may do Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, we're going to be here, and so I'm sure we'll come up with something fun. Uh, remember, with the holidays coming up, go ahead and get your reservations now and with school and, and four-day school weeks, what better way to spend a three-day weekend than here on the Bolivar Peninsula beachfront. So anyway, uh, Tropical Storm Harold's going into South Texas, northern New Mexico, uh, Mexico um, elevated tides and storms down there. I don't think we're going to get much rain here. We'll keep an eye on the radar and we'll keep you posted on what's happening with the tide. We're going to head on out. Remember, if you want to see the beach front or the bay side, what the tide's doing, what the weather's like, and what they're catching fish-wise, you can go to our website at www.bolivarpeninsulatexas.com. Look at all our live webcams. We've got a slew of them on the beach front. We've got the Stingery Bay Cam that you can operate and actually move around and zoom in on your buddy fishing out in the bay. Uh, we've got the new salt, uh, saltwater gospel cam that's panoramic and uh, cover is operational. And then we've got the working on getting the cameras back up down at Fort Travis. So anyway, we're going to head on out. Remember, everything you know in one location at BolivarPeninsulaTexas.com. Until next time, let us know where you're listening from. When you're coming down, say hi, say bye, give us a thumbs up, maybe one of those little orange emoji smiley faces. I'm David with Bolivar Live. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless and bye-bye.